Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another daily devotion. Uh, this devotion is being prepared for February 18th, uh, 2022, and that's a Friday. Uh, but if you're watching it at another time, thank you for joining us. And if you enjoy these devotions, as I say pretty much every day, I try to, uh, please like and uh, subscribe and share this, this uh, devotion. You'll find a playlist of a number of different uh, books that we have covered so far. Uh, we are going to be by the end before about, about another month, and we will hit a thousand videos on this channel. So, um, again, we are in the fourth chapter of Matthew's Gospel, is where we're at. We left off at verse 11. Um, Jesus had been out in the wilderness, and he had been tempted, and he's endured the temptation. So now Jesus is going to begin his ministry. He's been baptized by John. He's gone out into the wilderness, and during that 40 days, something has happened. Um, apparently, John has been arrested while Jesus has been away. So Jesus comes out of his, his time in the wilderness, discovers that G John has been arrested. Uh, so that's where we pick up at verse 12. And we're going to go ver from verse 12 to verse 17 in the fourth chapter of Matthew's Gospel. Now, when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the sea, in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, and so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zephelin and land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. So John has been arrested. Now, some people, I've heard people say, Oh, and John, Jesus is scared because he heard that John was beheaded. Well, that's not, that doesn't happen for about 10 more chapters, guys and gals. So he's not been beheaded yet. In fact, later in about another seven chapters, uh, John will send a message to Jesus asking if he is the one, if he is the Messiah, the chosen one. Um, so that's, that's he, here, John's been arrested. He's incarcerated. Jesus has heard about this, and he is a little concerned because that word where it says he withdrew, that withdrew word, it, it seems to imply in the Greek uh, a withdrawing out of fear, okay, uh, or concern at least. So he's concerned. He's got a little bit of apprehension. So I don't want to get arrested also. But he is going to pick up where John left off. John is the one preparing the way. Now, John's ministry, as far as we know, by Matthew's gospel anyway, John is in jail this whole time from here out until his death. Uh, as far as we know, as far as I know anyway, uh, or recall from having read through Matthew. Um, so John is now out of the picture as far as ministering in person. His disciples are still out there working, okay? Uh, his disciples are still out there working away. Um, Jesus, Jesus had heard he withdraws to Galilee, um, and he's gone to Capernaum. This is where Jesus' ministry is centered out of. He's from Nazareth. He goes home to Nazareth, but then he makes his home in Capernaum in Galilee um, by the sea. And, and in this territory, um, which is actually Gentile territory um, in, of that part of the Galilee. So on the road across from the Galilee of the Gentiles, it's saying there. So there's some foreshadowing of Jesus being a ministry, ministering to the Gentiles. Remember, he does go over to the, to the Gentile side of, the, of the, the, uh, the world there a little bit. He crosses over and all of that. Uh, and he was on the Gentile side of the Jordan, remember, when he was, when he was been, where he was baptized. Um, they have seen a great light. And of course, we look at that and we say, aha, the light of the Lord. This is Jesus' light coming into the world uh, for those who sat in the region in the shadow of death. Those that didn't know the saving grace of Christ, that there you're in the shadow of death. You are in death. Uh, if you have not reached out and proclaimed your, your, your faith in Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are literally sitting in the shadow of death. Um, and light has not dawned. No matter how bright the day might be outside, if you have not accepted Christ, the light has not dawned into your life. And that's what we're getting at here. These are this is a quote. These are he's quoting from Isaiah here, by the way. Um, so again, from that time on, Jesus begins to proclaim a ministry. He, he has picked up the mantle. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, has come near. 
is the time. Jesus, of course, is the is the time, uh, but he is getting ready. And from here, things pick up. Uh, we'll pick up at verse 18 tomorrow. Um, or, or actually, that will be on Monday uh, because we're coming into the weekend. So on Monday, we'll pick up at verse 18. And this is where Jesus in Matthew's gospel gets started calling his disciples. He's been baptized, gone on to the, to the wilderness. That's the kickoff. Um, but he, it's partially triggered by the fact that the one preparing the way for him is now done. And that's all up to Jesus now. All right. With that, I'm going to let you go. Have a blessed day. And please, please be a blessing to someone today. Tell them about Jesus. Okay. Bye-bye.